CQ20, Oscar Hotel 6, Golf Alpha Solo, Oscar Hotel 6, Golf Alpha Solo, 20 meter. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now I've been waiting ages for this little receiver to arrive as I was really curious to see why it has such a high price tag compared to the other Malahite receivers I've seen in the past. Now in this video we'll go through what's included in the box and check out how well this performs on air. Now first thing you'll notice is that it comes in a very tidy looking carry case. After all, it's good to keep this receiver safe from damage when not in use or traveling. Now a nifty little manual is included, which is in rather good English. Even the printed screenshots are in color, so for those newbies to this type of receiver, the manual will actually be of use. Also included is a couple of spare knobs. The texture of these are slightly different to the knobs that come already attached, so the choice is yours. A wrist strap is also provided, which just attaches to the corner of the DSP2. Of course, you don't have to install it if you don't want to use it. A telescopic antenna is also included, which appears to connect directly to the DSP2 antenna port, of which there are two. One is 50 ohm and the other is high Z, which you can change within the software. A little foldable stand is also found in this little package. Now I guess it makes it easier to use when sat on top of a desk. However, it does look like it sticks onto the DSP2 rather than just clipping on or screwing on. So just bear that in mind if you want to remove it. The supplied stylus can be used with the color touchscreen on the DSP2. Of course, you can still use your fingers, but this double ended stylus does make it easier to press those buttons. A USB-C cable is also in the package. Now this allows charging of the internal battery, which according to the specification, has a capacity of 5,000 milliamp hour. Now there's no mains adapter supplied, but you can use something like a mobile phone charger or just use one of your computer's USB ports. So let's take a look at the DSP2 itself and first impressions have a slight wow factor. Now the CNC aluminum alloy shell has a high precision feel, something that we're just not used to with past receivers. Now this receiver really does have a top tier feel to it. It has a large color touch screen on the front and a rather large front facing speaker. Now let's just hope this works as well as it looks. Now down the left side, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone socket. We then find the USB-C socket for charging, an LED indicator to show charging state, a push standby button, and a true power on and off button, which turns the receiver fully off to conserve battery power. There are no other connections or sockets on the side or underneath, but take a look at this print quality on the back. This is really turning out to be a well-made product. On top, we have two SMA sockets, both antenna connections. The one on the left is for high Z input and the other is the 50 ohm input. Now further along, we find two rotary controls, which also has a push down feature. Clearly labeled for volume control and frequency adjustment makes it easy to know which knob does what. Now let's dive straight in and take a listen to what this sounds like. Now I'm going to connect this to my NFED Halfwave antenna to test with first and later in the video we'll step outside and see how well the telescopic antenna actually works. Okay, sorry, my name is Juha, Juliet Uniform Hotel Alpha, Juliet Uniform Hotel Alpha, QSL. Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay, no problem to copy, I copy very well all what, you t uh, what you're talking here. No problem to copy, uh, fine modulation, fine point modulation, radio 5, radio 5, uh, QSL. Italia, Victoria 3, Whiskey, Tango, Japan, call in and buy, thank you. Thank you very much, dear friend. Italy, Papa, Bravo. Thank you for new band and you coming 5x8, name Harry. QSL? CQ, CQ, DX. CQDX, Lima Bravo 8, Foxtrot, Juliet calling CQDX and standing by. 
This is Japan Radio 7, America, Sydney, London. Jewish Radio 7, Alpha, Queen, Lima. Japan Radio 7, America, Quebec, London. QDX and standby over. CQ, CQ DX, Uniform Alpha Sweet, Alpha Foxtrot Juliet, calling CQ Dog X Ray and standing by. Yeah, okay, Steve, JVLR returning. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't say this was going to be the, the final run through because we're, well, we're at uh, 11.25 now. But so, uh, yeah, go ahead, yeah, ask any questions you want to, and uh, yeah, this will be the final. Sorry about that, Steve, I should have said so, shouldn't I? No, I wonder whether anybody else had got any comments about the uh, the phones all going to change over to internet ones and the problems that might cause uh, with peppers. Anyway, 73 to everybody. Have a great weekend. Uh, I shan't be on tomorrow. Probably be travelling. Uh... Well, that was quite lucky, picking up that station from Japan on 12 metres. And my antenna is not really tuned that well for that band, so it definitely surprised me. Now, what did you think about that last clip? 40 meters had some terrible local static QRM for me at the time of recording. Now, that was perfect for showing how well the noise reduction feature works on this DSP2. Now, tell me, what did you think about that feature? Now, I have some more clips to show you, and the outside test was just amazing. But first, let me quickly whiz through the menus. Now the radio tab is where we find controls that turn on and off features like preamp, bias T, audio output routing, attenuator and changing the beep level, which I always set mine to zero. On the audio tab, we can turn on and off the noise blanker, adjust AGC and configure the audio bandpass and change filter settings. The visual tab is where we change how the color touchscreen looks. For example, we can change the FFT color, level and scale. You can also adjust backlight, timeout and the brightness of that LCD screen here. The NR button enables or disables the noise reduction feature with a little indicator at the top of the screen when pressed. The mode tab allows you to change the demodulation mode. So the usual upper and lower sideband, narrow FM, wide FM, along with CW. Now there is also a built-in CW decoder if you like to listen and read to Morse code. Now the band button will show you a whole host of predefined bands, not just ham radio bands, but also other popular bands such as Broadcast FM and Airband. There's a total of five pages of predefined bands and to change page, just use the top right rotary encoder. OK, so let's take this receiver outside and for this test, I will only be using the telescopic antenna plugged into the 50 ohm antenna port. Now, I didn't try the high Z port, but wait till you hear the results. The telescopic antenna is only 75 centimeters in length when fully extended. As I say, the name's Ian and I'm uh, in Brighton here, so I'm using a uh, ICOM 756 Pro 3. Uh, with a, um, it's a Yozu FL2100 uh, Zulu linear. I'm going into an offset dipole mic. Uh, Delta Lima 2, Alpha Kilo Uniform, Golf 3 Whiskey X3 Golf. Okay, uh, you are very strong even on the on the vertical. I was switching the antenna uh, during your round before, and uh, you improve a lot, a lot, a lot <laughs> around five and then plus ten to fifteen on the vertical. That means uh, the propagation uh, uh, is very very good. Okay. So Jack, back to you again. Zulu Sierra One Whiskey Charlie. I Zay D Y P over. Whiskey Alpha Four Papa Sugar Oscar X on copy five nine. Good morning. Yes, Kentucky, very good, John. My name Tolly, Texas, Oscar, Lima, Yankee. I'm near Moscow, Russia, QZ. Yes, thank you. QZ, any North America, QZ, stateside, QZ. QZ, DX, looking for North America, Radio Alpha 3, Radio Charlie, Lima, CQ, CQ, North America, over. To, uh, to go and have it done by my uh, GP, so um, um, I haven't seen anything from them yet. Um, it may be that they don't consider that um, I'm at risk or whatever, um, so they're not uh, too bothered about this. But, um 
Кіло виски ту, виски. Кіло W2, W про Radio 2, колку. Окей, но проблем чим. Ваш Кейнс Пинкюн. Have a nice day, my friend. And good luck. Bye-bye. Антенна из The Hags Beam. To your direction now. Uh, my radio is Safe TVX 10 uh, from uh, ASU and the microphone is Mike 1. Back to you, Jeff, over Mexico. This is Lima Zulu 3, Tango Yankee. Uh, very good morning, thank you for the call. Your signal report is next over. The name is Plum, Papa, Lima, Alpha, Mexico. Plum is my name. QDH near Sofia, Bulgaria. Sofia, Bulgaria. Back to you, over, over. That last clip there was listening to 10 meters indoors using the telescopic antenna. Now, I was quite surprised at how well the DSPT works indoors with the telescopic antenna. It was just by pure accident that I managed to turn it on while indoors and I could hear something, so I thought I'd record it. The last test to show you is listening to airband. Now, in the past, I've shown some receivers which just don't sound very good on AM. But take a listen to this and let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool to have the band scope so you can easily see other transmissions going on nearby. And with the tap of the screen, the receiver will retune to that frequency. So perfect for airband. Hey, hello, Steve, this is 71 Kilo, climbing flight level 190, radar heading 325. 71 Kilo, they will continue on the heading. I'll give you further time, Scotty. What's your request for level? At 340, Steve, this is 71 Kilo. Good afternoon, it's FedEx 92, flight level 370, direct Bravo, India, Dawson. FedEx 92, hello. Flat. Dawson 01, Lufthansa 96, level 2, level 3, 4, 0, 1, million. 2,096, yes, hello. Flat, our name in the Delta, heading to London, 127, decimal 430, good afternoon. Well, there we go, guys. That's the Malahite DSP2. Now, I could not see this receiver on the Malahite website, but what I did read in the seller's listing of this product is that each receiver has the license activated directly with Malahite, meaning you can obtain future firmware updates for free. Now, I'll leave a link down below in the video description so that you can go ahead and check this product out for yourself. It's not exactly cheap, but in my opinion, it's worth the money because it works very well. Anyway, until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.